Burleson Adventist Church, it's Pastor Kevin. Last time we had messages like this, it meant that church wasn't in session. And I'm sad to say, it kind of means that again, this time too. Uh, I wanted to send you a video. It's Friday. Uh, we have Sabbath tomorrow, uh, tonight, tomorrow. And we're certainly excited and, you know, looking forward to the Sabbath. And yet it's, it's a little bit unfortunate because we were so much enjoying our worshiping together and uh, for those that were comfortable uh, but we have to bring that to a close as many of you know the the number of the covid cases are going up and we've gotten strong recommendation from the leadership in the texas conference that we want to abide by and support because they have certainly supported us all these years and we want to support them too and so they've asked that we close for at least the month of july um, so on Wednesday night, the, the board had an emergency meeting, the church board, and we voted to suspend all live services, at least through the month of July. We'll readdress that as the month closes to see where we stand. But that's where we are now. And with that, I wanna encourage you, please stay home tomorrow. Uh, we'll have all the normal services that we do online. We'll have church, we'll have uh, Sabbath school for kids, I know there's some Zoom stuff happening for the high schools with Nez, and I know Pastor Orland is working on something for the junior age. So we have some activities and, and ways to, to, to worship together online, though I know it's not the same, but that's, that's what we have right now. I want to encourage you, don't, don't be shy. Let's, let's use this time to, to reach out to one another, call each other, uh, FaceTime or Zoom each other, text each other. Certainly, let's be praying for each other. These are unprecedented times and it just feels like, will it ever end? And the answer is, I don't know. But what I do know is Jesus knows, right? In fact, in the end of the book of Revelation, um, Jesus reminds us, he says in Revelation 22, 13, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. That is our God, our God who is on the throne, our God who knows everything, our God who was and is and will be, our God who was the beginning and is the end. Our God knows when this thing is going to come to fruition. He knows how this is going to work out. He hasn't left us. He haven't for, hasn't forsaken us. He knows how this will resolve. And so let's right now be putting our faith and trust in Him. And I just want to say from my perspective, as I study God's word, we are in the last days, church. I think these are the birth pains. I think things could happen quite quickly. Uh, I don't know, I'm keeping my eye on, on Christ and I'm keeping my eye in his word. And now is an opportunity, a moment, a window, if you will, to be sharing the hope and the truth that we have in Jesus with all those we come in contact. Let's share unashamedly the joy we have in Jesus. I want to encourage you in that. Don't forget, Jesus loves you so much. So do I. And we'll talk soon. Have a happy, happy Sabbath. God bless you.